Things have gotten so bad for the Marvel Cinematic Universe that now Kevin Feige is out here admitting that they are on a failure trajectory, okay? Things are not looking good for Marvel whatsoever. I think we can all see that at this point, and even he right here says, you'd have to live under a rock not to know that the last few Marvel movies have failed to ignite the world in the way that so many did. Now, why, why could that be? Kevin Feige, have you stopped to ask yourself how we have gotten to this point? He probably knows why, but he is just not willing to admit the real reasons why pe people are turning away from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Marvel has struggled to reach audiences on a scale it used to with recent films like Ant-Man and the Wasp 3, which was terrible, and the Marvels, which was also absolutely just awful. Seriously underperforming factor in the overwhelming volume of Marvel stories that have been in the works across cinematic releases and streaming series, which is also a major highlight here for one of the reasons why Marvel films have not been doing that well, because they have completely just shot themselves in the foot doing this whole streaming thing where now they're releasing a bunch of Marvel shows on Disney Plus that you have to watch in order to be caught up with what is happening in the MCU. Deadpool and Wolverine is the only MCU movie to land this year. This is where we are at with Marvel, where now they have dialed it back to one movie for this year. Marvel was putting out three movies a year just a few years ago, and they were doing pretty well at it, okay? Even two movies a year. They were doing very, very well at doing that. But they have started to realize, they think that, that the reason why people are not watching their movies is because they're putting out too many. That is completely missing the entire point of why people are not watching Marvel movies anymore. So... It's been a rough time, Luis Despacito, co-president of Marvel Studios, admitted to Empire in the world-exclusive Deadpool and Wolverine issue. However, he says Wade Wilson's mutant team-up threequel as a sign of things getting back on track. If we just stayed on top, that would have been the worst thing that could have happened to us. We took a little hit. We're coming back strong. Guys, them having flops in the box office was actually a good thing for Marvel, okay? They had a chance to self-reflect. All right? Except they're probably self-reflecting on all the wrong things. They're probably still going to push a bunch of woke BS in their films. But, you know, all that aside, at least they took a moment to self-reflect on their flops. That less is more e ethos looks set to continue in years to come. Maybe when you do too much, you dilute yourself a little bit, says Despacito. We're not going to do that anymore. We learned our lesson, maybe two or three films a year and one or two shows, as opposed to doing four films and four shows, which is probably the best way to approach this. But at the end of the day, still doing the shows in a way where you are reliant on watching the shows in order to be caught up with the MCU is just a horrible business model. For Marvel boss Kevin Feige, he's seeing the positive side of the MCU being on the back foot again. After all, back in Phase 1, that's exactly where they began. It's nice to be able to rally behind one feature project this year, he tells Empire. I'm much more comfortable being the underdog. I prefer being able to surprise and exceed expectations. So it does seem like the last year, which has not been ideal, has set us up well for that. We also just got this other really terrible news from Marvel today. So Disney CEO Bob Iger says company will cut Marvel movie output over quality concerns. So Disney across the board is looking at Marvel and they're doing this and they think that this is actually going to help. But really they are not actually getting to the root issues of why people are not showing up in droves to watch Marvel movies, Disney movies, and Pixar movies anymore. There's a reason for why that is and it isn't anything really about the quantity even though the quantity could be a factor into that. Disney is in a bad spot. Marvel is in a bad spot. I think we could all agree with that. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.